him there talking about, you know, whether these candidates who lost, who believed in either police defunding or police abolition, uh, are going to continue to be players in the political realm. You know, one other candidate who beat out a police abolitionist is Sarah Nelson. She is going to be the next Seattle City Council member for position nine, and she joins us live this evening. Sarah, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Or should I say Councilwoman-elect Nelson. Uh, for you, day one, what's, what's your priority? My priority is to huddle with my colleagues and, and really commit to, uh, to doing things differently. The voters want change, and uh, we also have to work with our new mayor. So the political landscape has shifted, and we have got to get to work right away on our pressing problems. Uh, you know, one of the things that you and I have talked about before is the climate has been a little nasty at City Hall, if we're all being honest with one another, and that climate has made it really hard to get things done in good faith. So uh, besides maybe walking in with a good attitude, uh, what do you do as the only new council member to try to flip that environment to something that's productive? Well, you know, I think that the real story of this election is that uh, is that voters rejected the far left agenda and it's us versus them positioning and rhetoric. And I think that my win signals to my colleagues that we have to do things differently and that we have to include all voices as we go forward and and really um, come together. And I think that uh, that we will be able to do that because people realize that um, um, that their uh, their previous ways of doing things will could very well put them vulnerable at the next election. Uh, as a small business owner, for people don't, who don't know, you're the co-founder of Fremont Brewing. Our small businesses have been through a heck of a lot over the past couple years. Um, for you, bringing that perspective into City Hall, what are some things you believe the council can be doing to help those small businesses get back on their feet? Well, they can start by focusing on the need to help small businesses, and that's what I bring. I bring a fresh perspective and some know-how about what small businesses need, and not just breweries, not just white-owned businesses, but all businesses, and I, and I have a strong platform for actually helping folks uh, stay in their neighborhoods, retain those jobs, and, and grow and thrive in our city after the pandemic. Let me end with this, and it's the last question I asked uh, Seattle Mayor-elect Bruce Harrell today. What is your message to the voters who did not vote for you? I'm not that bad. Just kidding. My <laughs> message is... <laughs> My message is that as a citywide council member, I will represent you. And I've spent nine months talking to folks. I have a good sense of the change that people want to see, and I will get to work, roll up my sleeves, and start working for them, everyone, every Seattleite. All right, Councilwoman-elect Sarah Nelson, we appreciate your time this evening. And just like every other politician who sits on the second floor of City Hall, we have high expectations of you, ma'am. I'll meet him. All right, thanks for being here.